When you have a company as big as Lego, sometimes you just have to throw some ideas out there, and unfortunately, not every single one of them can be a home run. As for every Ninjago, there is a Legends of Chima to remind us that Lego isn't perfect. So gathered friends, I'm Vardaran, and thanks for joining me on the Top 10 Shortest Lived Lego Themes. Now before I kick off this list, I would like to give you all a few important details regarding this video. Lego, like many toy companies, helps produce several different licensed themes for different companies. Oftentimes, you'll see Lego products that are centered around a new movie release, or popular intellectual property at the time. Generally speaking, these lines are often very short-lived and only have a single wave before they're taken off shelves. As such, we've elected to only count original themes and IPs by Lego itself, and not licensed themes. Another thing I'd like to note is that LEGO also has a habit of recycling ideas for different themes. However, this list is a compilation of the shortest lived themes, rather than ideas. So while LEGO may have several different themes that are centered around dinosaurs, for example, we are still counting these various themes separately. So with that out of the way, let's kick off this list at number 10, Rock Raiders. Rock Raiders was a short-lived theme that lasted from 1999 to old 2000, with 15 sets dedicated to the line and a video game to help promote it. With a simple plot, Rock Raiders involved several space travelers traveling to the planet U to mine power crystals, and while on their adventures are attacked by various different monsters. Despite being a fairly simple concept, it wouldn't be the last time we would see it, as this idea would be expanded upon in our next theme, number 9, Power Miners. Power Miners was very similar to Rock Raiders, but much more refined in its execution. Here, the miners are kept on Earth, where they are digging underground in hopes of discovering the cause of several earthquakes that have been plaguing the Earth's surface. Similar to the power crystals of Rock Raiders, these miners soon discover energy crystals that are being harvested by rock creatures. But unlike Rock Raiders, all the characters of Power Miners, including the villains, have unique names and personalities, adding just a bit more flair to each individual set. Lasting just a single year from 2009 to 2010, Rock Raiders ended its lifespan with 16 cents in total, excluding its promotional polybags. At number 8, we have Slizers, aka Throwbots. Marked as one of LEGO's first forays into the story driven, buildable action figure line, Slizers makes its place in history as one of the predecessors to LEGO's very popular Bionicle theme. Many of its elements, such as the powerful world split between the elements and the collectible disc included with each figure, were carried over into Bionicle. But unlike Bionicle, Slizers had a very limited run, lasting only a single year from 1999 to 2000, ending its lifespan with only 14 sets total. And while on the subject of buildable action figures, let's move on to our number 7 pick, Galador. Following the success of LEGO Star Wars and Bionicle, Galador was another attempt by LEGO at cashing in on a plot-driven theme, being the first original LEGO line to have its own TV show. In spite of its high expectations, unfortunately Galador was mostly a failure for LEGO, with many people finding the sets themselves to be rather bizarre and kind of creepy. As ambitious as it was, the line only lasted less than a year before sets were pulled from shelves, with only a single wave of 20 sets that ever saw the light of day. At number 6, we have Monster Fighters. Released in 2012, the line followed Dr. Rodney Rathbone and his squad of monster fighters as they attempt to stop the evil Lord Vampire from stealing the Moonstones, which he would use to block out the sun and open a portal into the land of monsters. Similar to Galador, the line was discontinued the same year it was released, ending its run with a few polybags and nine sets total. At number five, we have World Racers. The plot for this line was pretty simple. You have the extreme daredevils and the backyard blasters as they race against each other around the world. The line saw a single wave release in 2010 with only six sets, two polybags, and a single accessory kit. At number four, we have Aqua Raiders. Aqua Raiders saw a very limited 2007 release. With a January wave of six sets and a March wave of one single large set, the line only had seven sets total. The premise behind the story was pretty simple, a group of explorers going down and hunting for treasure and having to fight monsters that block their way. The line was special in the fact that it was the third LEGO system theme to have unique characters, all with individual personalities and names, a concept that seems like almost a requirement for most LEGO themes nowadays. Branching back into the buildable action figure side of things, we have our number 3 pick, 
Robo Riders. Following Slicers, Robo Riders had an extremely limited run before most retailers were stocking the shelves of Bionicle sets instead. The line saw a continuation of the Elemental World concept, with each region being split between six individual elements. On this world, a mysterious virus begins infecting its inhabitants, forcing them to create robotic vehicles for them to travel in and protect them. Sounds like kind of a bizarre concept, but it's LEGO, everybody. At least it wasn't Galador. Ugh. Released in 2001 and with only seven official sets, the line ended after a single wave. At number two, we have Dino Attack. Released in 2005, Dino Attack pitted up a team of minifigures as they go around hunting, capturing, and, jeez, murdering mutant dinosaurs. Each set included a cool, futuristic vehicle and a dinosaur to slaughter. Clearly, LEGO thought this concept may have been a bit too violent as they discontinued the line within a year of its release and rebooted it in 2010, where the sets were fairly similar, but the goal was changed to simply capturing the dinos instead. With that said, the 2005 Dino Attack only had a single wave of five sets. And finally, at our number one pick, we have Spybotics. The Spybotics line, released in 2002, was a sub-series of LEGO Mindstorms. As such, the sets themselves were actually remote-controlled little robots. Each set included a figure, a disc, and a remote control, with very few differences between them other than color. The owner could program various missions for the Spybotics to perform using the cable included in the package and connecting it to a PC. The theme also featured an online video game called The Nightfall Incident, which was actually pretty popular amongst the tech-savvy LEGO fans. So much so that it kind of overshadowed the line itself, leaving the theme with only four sets before it was discontinued less than a year later. So that was the top 10 shortest-lived LEGO themes. Don't agree with our thoughts? Feel free to post your own list in the comments below. And be sure to check us out in Vessel at vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, where you can access all of our content a week in advance and a couple exclusive shows for only $2.99 a month or $19.99 a year. I'm Vardaran, and thanks for watching.